What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to another Diablo 4 build leveling guide for you at the start of Diablo 4's launch. So we have a leveling build for each class as well as working on our end game builds, at least one for each class that you guys can use as kind of a guide to level up through Diablo all the way to 50. So today we're gonna to be going over our Barbarian Upheaval leveling build. So before we get into everything, a quick note as we always do in these guides is our aspects, our codexes, these are only going to be codexes and powers that you can get from dungeons. That's why it says codex as opposed to a legendary that does not say codex. Like this one right here, it says no codex. So this is only a legendary power that will randomly drop on an item. <clears throat> so we're only using codexes which guarantee that you can get from doing a dungeon and we apply these to the build to really make, make it work. The reason for this is mainly because we want you to be able to level up with the build and have it be strong and really work through the leveling process and you don't, you're not sitting there waiting on a leveling or excuse me, a legendary power to drop, okay? Because we all know that that sucks. You're looking for one power and you just don't get it. Next, guys, down in the comments below, I'm going to have a spreadsheet for you guys that's going to illustrate everything that you need to do. This is the one for my druid, but we're going to have one for Barbarian and the rest of the classes. I'm really working on this. And it will showcase all the skills that you need to take as you level up, as well as any modifications that we have for the builds, as well as the points that you get from Renown and what skills to put those points in. So I really do that. that I really do, though. I really <laughs> do hope that that guys helps you out and makes it a little bit easier for you. So without further ado, let's get right into the build. So, guys, this build is going to be an upheaval berserking barbarian build we want to be berserking in absolutely everything and what better way to do it than with upheaval which is arguably one of the best core skills for the barbarian so if you guys don't know remember what berserking does it's going to give you 25 percent increased damage as well as 15 percent increased move speed so we are going to be very very fast and we're going to deal a lot of damage so starting off guys we are going into lunging strike i think lunging strike is probably one of the best basic fury generators besides maybe flay flay is very very good especially against bosses and stuff but i really like lunging strike because of the moving or the or the the gap closing the movement um portion of it so you lunge forward and strike an enemy which is really cool so you kind of dash forward and hit them which is really really good for the barbarian because we're only melee then of course we have enhance which is going to give us more damage and then heal us which is good and then we're going combat lunging. So crit strikes with lunging strike grant us berserking. So every time we crit, we get berserking. Um, the bleeding we're not doing. So if we were doing bleeding, we, that we would take this one. But we're doing combat lunging strike to get the uh, on a crit. We um, berserk for 1.5 seconds. Next, we have pressure point. Lucky hit. Our core skills have a chance to make enemies vulnerable for two seconds. This is very, very important. We want to deal more damage as much as possible since we're really only swinging with upheaval, which is our next skill. Five points in upheaval. I think you guys have seen this during the last two betas. Upheaval is very, very strong. Um, we're going to go into enhance, which has a 20% chance to stun, which is very important. And then we're going to be doing violent upheaval. So when we damage at least two enemies, we're going to get berserking for two seconds. And then it increases to three seconds if we damage four enemies. One of the main reasons I like upheaval, and I really, guys, I really wanted to do Hammer of the Ancients because it's probably my favorite skill with the Barbarian, especially from Diablo 3. But Upheaval is really good up close range and it's good for medium range and it gives you some AOE perspectives because you can hit multiple enemies with it and it's very, very strong. So that's the reason we decided to go with Upheaval. Next, I mean, guys, what Barbarian build is not equipped without Shouts, okay? Yes, I know the shouts got nerfed, but I think they're still in a very, very good spot. And I think they're very useful for the Barbarian as well as your team if you're playing in groups. So we're doing Rallying Cry. We get a big movement speed here by 30% and a 40% um, resource regeneration for 6 seconds. Then we have Enhanced Rallying Cry, which is going to make us unstoppable. This is great for crowd control effects because we are nothing but melee. Then we're doing tactic, Tactical Rallying Cry, which gives us Fury Regeneration and Resource Regeneration. Then we got Challenging Shout, which uh, gives Taunt nearby enemies, and we gain 40% damage reduction, so we're a little tanky. We gain 20% maximum life with Enhanced. And then Tactical Challenging Shout gives us 3 Fury each time we take damage. Next, we have War Cry. 
Warcry is gonna give us um, more damage for 15% by six seconds. And then more importantly, Enhance is gonna give us Berserking for four seconds. Okay, this is very important. Then we have Power Warcry. If we damage, or at least if at least six enemies are nearby when we cast Warcry, we get 10% more damage. Um, you could do the Fortify on here if you really wanted to, but I just wanted the more damage because we're gonna be moving so fast. We're gonna be able to put ourselves in positions to get next to six enemies, so this should up, be up pretty much all the time when you cast uh, Power Warcry. Next, and probably one of my favorite uh, skills, is Leap. We leap and we knock back enemies, right, for 33% damage, which is good. This is also a very good movement skill to get us, you know, jumping into a huge pack, to pop our shouts, get us across the map super, super fast. Uh, enhanced Leap, if we don't damage anybody, we get four seconds back on our cooldown. And then Power Leap, when we damage at least one enemy, we get 40 Fury, which is huge for upheaval. Next in system passes, we have aggressive resistance. We get damage reduction while berserking, which should pretty much be all the time. You guys will see more of this when we get down to the bottom. We got one point in battle fervor. When a, a brawling skill damages at least one enemy, we gain berserking for a second. Leap is our only brawling skill, so when we leap into a, a big pack of monsters or two monsters, we start berserking. Then we have a uh, prolific fury while berserking our fury generation goes up to 18 percent or is increased by 18 percent very huge uh, then we have swiftness movement speed is up by 12 percent so we're going to be very fast and then we have one point into quick impulses because we want to be able to reduce the duration of control impairing effects by six percent this is really really good and i think everybody should have this on a bar build for the most part next we have uh pit fighter we deal nine percent increased damage to close enemies which is going to be all the time and we have some damage reduction against ranged uh enemies slaying strike we deal 24 percent increased damage to injured enemies this is really good when we need to close out mobs or maybe close out a boss and just deal a crap ton of damage when they're injured injured guys if you don't remember is when they are below 35 percent of their normal health so we deal increased damage to that which is huge this helps close out um fights then we have No Mercy. We have 9% increased critical strike chance against immobilized, stunned, or slowed enemies. We should have them stunned almost all the time. Next, we have Heavy Handed. When we're using a two-handed weapon, we deal 50% increased critical strike damage. We're only going to be, all of our attacks are only going to be with two hands, so you should be good here. Uh, one point in Wallop. When we're using a bludgeoning weapon, we gain 5% increased damage against a stunned or vulnerable. Uh, and then we have Concussion. On a lucky hit, using a bludgeoning weapon, we have a 30% chance to stun or a 45% chance to stun when we're using a bludgeoning weapon, which we pretty much will be using. Now down to the, to the power here, unconstrained. This power is absolutely fantastic. We increase our Berserk's minimum duration by five and increase its damage bonus by 25%. So what this means is, now we have a 50% damage increase and we move for 15 or we get a movement speed increase by 15%. But check this out. When we hit enhanced war cry, well no, we're not berserking for 4 seconds. We're actually berserking for 9 seconds. Oh, we leap and hit somebody? No, we're not berserking for 1 second. We're actually berserking for 6 seconds. So, it's it's actually really really strong. Um, because increase Berserk's maximum duration by 5 seconds. So anytime we're Berserking, it should go up. I'm fairly confident that's how this reads, unless it has something to do with like using Wrath of the Berserker, and if that's the case, then this ability sucks. But if I, if, if I understand how it works by reading the text here, that makes Berserking, whenever we get it from upheaval, we, you know, we Berserk when we hit two enemies for, four, for two seconds, or if we hit four, it's three seconds. Well, now it's seven seconds. Now it's eight seconds, which is just huge. We're going to be able to speed around the map and eliminate enemies really, really quickly. So, uh, but let me know. Fact check me down in the chat or in the comments. Let me know if that's exactly how that works. Over to our gill, our gills, our gear and skills. Let's get into our expertise. We are doing two handed axe. We want to deal 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies, which we should be able to get. And then we do get a 10% increased critical strike chance against them. This, after overlooking all of these expertise, I really find that this one is probably the best. Um, unless you're doing a bleed build with the Barbarian. 
Um, otherwise, the Berserky one that I was going for really doesn't help us in most cases. Uh, so I think just the overall damage to vulnerable enemies is just better. So we went with uh, Two-Handed Axe. Now into our powers here. We have Aspect of Retribution. Distant enemies have a chance to be stunned when they hit us, which is good for range. But this is more for we deal increased damage to stunned enemies. Then we have Aspect of Echoing Fury. Our shout skills generate fury per second while active. This is very important, okay? I think I went over the, the skill tree. Did I miss one? Yes, I missed, I missed these. Booming Voice increases our shout duration by 24%. And then Raid Leader, we our shouts heal our opponents, or our opponents, us and our allies for 1% of our life per second, which is huge. A little bit of sustain for the Barbarian. Then we have Relentless Berserker Aspect. Damaging an enemy with a core skill has a chance to extend the duration of berserking by a second. Then if we crit, it doubles it. So this is really, really good. So we can get a high chance to extend berserking uh, even longer. So these are the core skills that I really like for from the codexes. So uh, this build is really, really cool. I really like it. I think the berserking aspect of Barbarian is just going to be really fun. I think it applies more to solo players when you're playing solo. I think this is going to be a really fun build for you. But even in groups, this is going to be great. You're going to be able to go pull enemies um, if you really want. Be ahead of the pack and just deal a crap ton of damage. Your group comes up and just, you know, finishes them off. I think this is a really speedy, speedy build. And that's the kind of builds I like since, you know, the rogue is, you know, very quick with dashing and all that stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the build. Comment down below, guys. What do you guys think? And any other builds and stuff that you guys would like to see, join our Discord down in the description below, guys. We really have been theory crafting a lot. So if there's builds you guys want to see that we can do on our live stream or just stuff you guys want me to make a video on, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, guys. We're on our way to 10K before the release of Diablo 4. So help me get there. I really do appreciate it. And as always, Stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.